Lucas. High flying dunks, chased on blocks, crafty finishes at the rim. Louis. Personally, I'm a big fan of Ja and his highlights. But let me tell you, highlights don't tell you the full story. Ja is great, but I think he's a bit overrated because of how marketable he is. Bro, no cap, I love this dude. Most definitely has a huge ceiling, but due to his playstyle, that is really doubtful. He needs to learn how to control his body in air. Ja is reckless on offense with his crazy drives, which are great, but ought to be more controlled. He's also bad on defense. Yes, he gets highlights on defense due to his athleticism, but he relies too much on it. On average in his career, he has missed at least 35.6% of the regular season games due to injuries. By the way, fun fact. The Grizzlies played better without Ja. Their record was 20 and 5 without Ja. They are number 1 in the league in defense without Ja. And they are 15th with him. They play a team game without Ja. Now, I will not just hate on him. Instead, what he can do is put a lot of muscle. He weighs only 175 pounds at 6'3. He could develop a mid range game, which is going to be deadly as he is quick. Look, I'm not telling him to completely shut down his explosiveness to the rim. He needs to change his playstyle if he wants to survive in this league. He's 23, bro, give a break. Good examples are Jordan and Kobe, who learned how to transition from slashers to shooters and still dominate. Ja is young, passionate about the game, and wants to win. I'm sure he will tweak his game in the upcoming future.